guys welcome to yet another amazing episode here at Kaluhi's Kitchen. I'm so thrilled to be here and I'm equally as excited to have you here. Today's recipe is a broccoli recipe, super easy to make and one that we really really enjoy having at home. I wanted just to make it for us at home, to Kikula or whatever, but Liz Gadungu on Instagram requested me to show her how to prepare broccoli and today I'm going to show you a recipe that my family really enjoys. Welcome to my kitchen. Welcome to my channel. We are already prepped with our broccoli and the quantity I have here is 0.7 of a kilogram. I bought the really, really big ones from Kafo and you can also get yours there. I like it because it's very easy to get, very convenient for anyone really. And if you're not like in the mood to struggle to put a broccoli, just go to Kafo. But station also has, but whichever location you can get yours from, feel free. Now for the first step, which is heavy on technique is blanching the broccoli. Blanching simply refers to cooking of vegetables in hot water for a short period of time. That way you retain the color, the texture, and also you ensure that all the vitamins and enzymes are kept within the vegetables. We do not want to boil our vegetables had it in a quantity yellow and slimy or gray and broken down. We are blanching them so that you retain the bright green color that broccoli always has and also to retain the vitamins. Speaking of vitamins, broccoli is rich in vitamin K, vitamin E, the B vitamins, rich in antioxidants. It's one of my top 10 vegetables and it's also good for you so that means we'll always have to have it any chance we get. Now that our water is nice and hot, we're going to go in and add our vegetables. The broccoli has now been blanching for about two minutes and as you can see it's already turning nice and bright green and that is an indicator that you are on the right path. Make sure you don't overdo it and I think we are going to give this another two minutes on the heat then we remove it and drain the water. If you have a steamer you can 100% use it in place of doing this blanching process but the steamer we had here at home my sister took it because she likes preparing steamed apples and oats for my little nephew so that's okay but I know not everyone has a steamer but I know 100% each one of you has a sofuria and some water at home so blanching should be your default process. I am now wrapping up blanching my broccoli i had already blanched my carrots they're over here and i also cut mine quite small because i like having a taste of everything in one spoonful same process i'm doing for my uh, broccoli i did for my carrots but because carrots are a bit more uh, tough the process will take slightly longer but not too long because you want to retain the color and the texture and the nutrients of the carrots as well so we have our carrots over here our broccoli is just wrapping up so let's finish this up then move to the next step We've just wrapped up blanching our broccoli. It's now set aside. All the excess water is now dripping. Now we're going to go into the next step and this is pretty simple as well. Over here I have my diced onion, some minced garlic and also some rosemary. This is what will form the base of the flavor of this dish and it's so simple to put together but for my veggies I really love nice fresh full-bodied vegetables. I love my spices but I personally prefer not to add spices to my veggies be it broccoli, be it cabbage, be it um, managu or risaveve. I do not add a lot of spices to my veggies. That does not mean nimesema atinachukia spices. I'm just saying it's a method of, it's a preference of mine. I like having fresh ingredients, be it, be it fresh garlic or fresh thyme or fresh rosemary or fresh whatever. I like complementing the full-bodied flavor of any veggie with complementary full-bodied fresh herbs that I have in my pantry. So we're going to go right in and add our onion. 
followed by our garlic and then our rosemary. Such a heavenly smell. <laughs> this smells fantastic and I know kama kawaida, this is going to end up so delicious. I had already added salt at the very beginning when I added oil onto my pan. So that is already covered and there's no need to add some more. This exact recipe, you can also use it for your French beans. Just make sure you use the same process. Blanch your French beans or if you prefer, sear them. Then after a few minutes, add them here to your onions and garlic. It's a really simple recipe, but one that's so fresh and so delightful on your palate, you'll never ever forget it. When I plate my food, be it for anything, even when, when I'm just at home doing nothing, I like having something fresh, something rich, and something that kind of serves as a blank canvas to tie everything together. For example, if I'm going to have this exact broccoli recipe for supper, I'm going to serve it along with something rich, for example, my lime coconut milk snapper, and something that will tie it together and it's kind of a blank canvas, that's ugali. So you, you, for a nice plate, you need three things. Something fresh, something rich, and something to tie everything together. It may also be rice, which is something to tie everything together, together with the broccoli, something fresh, and together with something rich, my chicken curry. Nonobli in Indonesia. That's how you plate, that's how you enjoy good food. Now that my onions are cooking, we're just about to add in our broccoli. And besides having preparing them in this manner, I also love a good broccoli soup. And I showed you this on the blog, I think in 2016. And I also showed you how to cook your broccoli together with steamed cabbage and some peas, I think in 2015 or 2014, I can't remember. But I'm going to link all of those recipes down below. Now, remember our broccoli is already cooked and our carrots are already cooked as well. So what we're going to do is turn off the heat and then we're going to add our broccoli in give them a quick toss and once they're coated we're going to be done remember we're not going to overcook our veggies we, we want to retain the color texture and flavor <laughs> As you have seen for yourself guys, this was so easy to put together and Kama Kawaida, very very delicious to have. Sometimes less is more and this is 100% one of those instances. We have to give this a taste test and I put my small portion aside just to see how it went. exactly as we always make it at home and exactly as we always love it you can taste the fullness of the broccoli appreciate the texture of both the broccoli and the carrot appreciate the warmth of the rosemary the happiness of the rosemary and the overall flavor that the red onion adds to this dish this is truly amazing so whether you choose to enjoy it with some chicken curry and some rice or some ugali and some ukwaju tilapia fish curry which are both on my blog by the way you will really enjoy this broccoli stuffy recipe don't forget kama kawaida the exact recipe quantities are on my blog link on the description box i will also link down below my past broccoli recipes make sure you try them all out and tell me which one you like most for me it's now time to go enjoy my lunch i hope you loved this video enjoy the rest of your wednesday bye guys Thank you.